Today Affinity released version 2 of their Creative Suite. Affinity Photo 2, Affinity Designer 2 and Affinity Publisher 2. This is a massive update. I'm very excited and I'm going to tell you why you should be very excited too. Hello and welcome. My name's Andrew Goodman and I do creative artwork on the iPad and in particular Affinity Photo or as the case is now Affinity Photo 2. Last week there was a bit of a teaser video from Affinity saying that on November 9th which is today there was going to be a big update. Something big was coming and boy did they deliver. The whole range of their Affinity Suite is upgraded to version 2. What's that mean to me and you? First things first, it's not a subscription model. All these apps can be bought at a one-off payment. But unlike the previous versions, we had to buy each app separately for the desktop and also the iPad. There's something Affinity have come up with called the Universal License. And you might guess what it does. If you buy the Universal License, you can get all the apps, all the apps in the desktop, all the apps in the iPad for a one-off payment. And... That's what I did. And it gets better because for a limited time only, the Universal License and all the apps, if you want to buy them separately, are 40% off. So if you were thinking about buying any of the Affinity products, now is a great time. Should just say at this point, I'm not connected to Affinity. Seraph, the own Affinity company, I'm not connected to them, nor do I know anyone in Affinity or Seraph. I just love using their products. And if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that's the case. And I'm going to continue to do that. So if no affiliation with them, feel free to download it or not, it's up to you, but I would highly recommend all these fantastic apps for a one-off payment. If you're here in the UK, it's £89.99 and the equivalent in US dollars is $99.99 and that's with the 40% off. Otherwise, it would be £149.99 or in US dollars, $169.99. And that's still great value, but if you're watching this video for a limited time only, it's 40% off. How long is a limited time? Your guess is as good as mine. I would guess a week, maybe two weeks. But if you're thinking of getting any of these apps, I wouldn't leave it too long. After a week, who knows? They'll, they'll maybe have a countdown in their site or they'll maybe send out an email saying last chance or last 48 hours or 24 hours. That's up to you. As soon as it was announced, I jumped straight in there and bought the universal license. And that makes things really nice really uncomplicated. I am very, very excited as you can maybe tell because it's not just a small update, it's a massive update, especially when it comes to the iPad. All the apps have been updated and in Affinity Photo 2, the user interface experience is absolutely fantastic. They've completely redesigned it. It looks great, but not only that, they've added really brilliant usability features. Beforehand, the photo persona and the selections persona was a wee bit clunky and the work between the two took a wee bit of get your head around, especially if you were new to this app. They've combined Bind those almost and it's so much easier there's not as much flicking between the two and it's going to make your experience in Affinity Photo 2 a lot easier compared to the last version and especially new if, if you're coming to Affinity Photo new this is a great time the old version was great there was a few things to get your head around this version is easier to understand easier to learn how to use and if you haven't tried Affinity Photo on the iPad you will be blown away go for the second version you will love it the UI design is not the only thing they've changed they've done a lot more updates and I'll maybe touch on that in a future video but just to let you know it's well worth the upgrade. Also the way layers works now in Affinity Photo 2 brilliant really really they've stepped up their game and they've made the whole experience of layers and working with layers brilliant and there's going to be a tutorial coming soon where I'm going to break that down uh, as well as lots of tutorials. My goodness, if I if I thought I was going to have an easy time coming into the Christmas season, I'm going to be very busy on this channel, releasing lots more videos on Affinity Photo and maybe even some of the other new apps too. So if you haven't already done so, like and subscribe, but we'll get to the rest of the fun stuff too. Affinity Designer 2, again, it's a whole new interface design. It looks a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot slicker, and there's new tools integrated in it, especially the Shape Builder tool. And finally, the app that I'm really, really excited about is Affinity Publisher 2 for the iPad. This app I've been waiting for for a long, long time. I do a bit of desktop publishing in my full-time job. Outside of that, I do a wee bit too. And I've been looking for an app for a long time. And this will be the first, in my opinion, industry standard desktop publishing app on the iPad. In the latest Apple Keynote, Affinity Publisher 2 was featured. And that got a lot of people really excited, including me. So I can't wait to get stuck into that. And I think as well as doing Affinity Photo 2 tutorials in this channel, I'm going to start doing Affinity Publisher 2 tutorials too. Might be a few weeks before I get up to speed with everything Affinity 2 Publisher can do on the iPad. But tutorials are coming and I look forward to learning it and teaching you all about it too. And you might be asking yourself, Andrew, in your opinion, 
is the upgrade price worth it? And I would say yes. That said, I've only just downloaded the apps a few hours ago, so maybe that's not a lot to go on. But reading the press release, reading everything on the website and watching a few of the Affinity videos on their official YouTube site, I believe the upgrade price is worth it. And on that, you might be thinking to yourself, I already have Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo on the iPad and on my computer, I have the whole host of apps. What happens to version one of the Affinity Suite? Version one of the Affinity Creative Suite is completely separate to version two. So if you sell version one apps, you can use them as long as you want. You don't have to upgrade. That said, there won't be any more updates for these apps. And in my opinion, Opinion, in time these apps will get discontinued. I think the new features are worth the upgrade price. Currently it's 40% off. If I were you, I would make the jump because I was you a few hours ago and I did make the jump. If you're an existing user and you have the whole range of suite, there's no further discount. It's 40% for everyone, new customers and existing customers. And if you do buy version two, you do get free updates. So version 2.1 and 2.2 and so-so will be free. That said, if you go digging a bit in the Finley website, you'll come across a line that says, you'll continue to receive free updates until such a time that V E3 is launched. So there you go. That's a wee hint that might suggest that even further down the line, version 3 might be coming out. But no time soon. Don't worry. And I'm half joking when I say that. I really don't think, in my opinion, version 3 will be coming out anytime soon. I wouldn't even think this time next year. Probably maybe two years plus. But that's just a guess. Who knows? So there you have it. I just wanted to let you know that version 2 of the Finley Creative Suite is now out. 40% off. It's great value for a limited time only. And if this is the first time you've come across my YouTube channel. Thank you and welcome and hope to see you around here. Please like and subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming out on Affinity Photo 2 and hopefully Affinity Publisher 2 and maybe, just maybe even further down the line, Affinity Designer 2. I love using these apps. I can't wait to get stuck into them. I'm going to edit this video and once I do that, I'm going to be playing with these apps all night, probably into the wee hours of the morning. And let me know in the comments below if you went for the universal license or if there's just a particular app you want to download. And until the next time, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.